My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got an exciting car for you today. I'm super stoked about Back in 1963, Corvette made five Grand Sports. They were tired of being embarrassed by the Shelby Cobra. Uh, so they decided to make a really lightweight, high-performance uh, car to compete. And after just a few were made, a total of five, GM pulled the plug on the program. And they actually ordered that the five originals were destroyed, although they weren't. Uh, I know of one sold for 3.5 or 3.6 million dollars, one of the originals. So this is not one of the originals. It is a reproduction as a Mongoose Motorsports tube uh, frame. It has all C4 Corvette independent suspension and disc brakes and fuel injected motor. It has air conditioning and it has less than 600 miles uh, on the complete build. This is just an exciting car. It's exciting to look at. It looks like it's fast just sitting there. It's fun to drive. Uh, it's great sounding. You'll hear it towards the end of the video. It really rumbles. So just a neat, neat piece. If you need a little excitement in your life, this will do it for you. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read the specs, look at all the pictures top to bottom. And that's where you find a price tag on every one of our cars, uh, including a monthly finance payment as well. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy these videos, I hope you do, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on that bell icon. Do you know why? It's, that notifies you when a new video is posted and you never know what's going to come next so you don't want to miss out. Uh, but right now, buckle up, let's go for a spin. Yeah, underneath this car looks brand new, well, it practically is brand new. Uh, the original was made with a big tube frame, and that's what this one has. Very, very similar to the original frame. Uh, it's by Mongoose Motorsports, and all the suspension and chassis is all painted a gloss gray color. It still looks very fresh. Uh, it's a C4 Corvette independent suspension front and back. It all looks brand new. Uh, they did upgrade uh, with coil over adjustable gas shocks at all four wheels. It has sway bars front and back. And again, it all looks new. The steering and suspension, the bushings, all that looks like new. Uh, it has a custom made fuel tank uh, with premium stainless braided hoses and fuel pump system and filter. Uh, it has disc brakes at all four wheels. Uh, E-brake is all hooked up. And all the whole system, the brake lines, hoses, all of it looks like new. Uh, obviously, the exhaust comes right out the side. It looks like they're coated, a ceramic coated uh, side exhaust. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's very clean and fresh. That's a six speed uh, manual transmission that's in there. Uh, so, check out the pictures underneath this car, it is very impressive, very, very uh, well done. Now, the body. Uh, this is what they looked like. All these modifications isn't something that somebody just made up. This is what the Grand Sport looked like. Uh, it has this front air dam. Uh, they got rid of the hideaway lights, have these uh, clear enclosures. You got this wild hood. And everything's looking really good. This is a quality build. Uh, the fiberglass is all nice. I don't see problem areas. I don't see cracks. The body is in excellent shape. I don't see anything to tell you about. This is all real good. All real good. I don't see any issues. It all fits nicely. The door fits all the way around. Nice and square. The door handles are recessed in. Of course, big flares and scoops. No, yep, that's just a fake scoop. Uh, I don't know what this cools. This either cools... Uh, I think these braided hoses, trying to follow them, they go up towards the motor, so oil cooler or something. Uh, and you got all the tail lights back here, and uh, this is actually a trunk, we'll open in a little while. The glass is new in the car, actually that's plastic. The body's in excellent shape, this is not a shoddy you know, reproduction body, this is a nice, clean, 
uh, well-fitting, uh, straight, smooth body. All this trim, all these details, they're all in great shape. The windshield, the rubber gasket, all that's excellent. So the wheels, these are knockoffs. Uh, Caleb over in the other building selling the Cobra thought a knockoff meant it was a reproduction, but no, that's an actual knockoff wheel. There's no lug nuts, and it has this little wire keeping the uh, spinner from coming off while you're driving. That would be bad. There's 17-inch wheels, nice wide performance tires. You know, the clear plastic is nice and clear. Nothing's broken or damaged. The nose is in great shape. I'm very impressed with what I'm seeing here. This is the actual fuel filler that unscrews. You put the gas in right there. And all this was cut out for ventilation and to make it light. Their goal was to make the car as light as possible. They really wanted to compete uh, against the Cobra. It was Zorro Duntoff, uh, Zora Duntoff that uh, came up with this program. Uh, so there's the outside. Let's check it out inside. So you just turn these two fittings right here and the trunk releases. There is a chip in the paint right here. I'd imagine it probably touches. No, it doesn't. Oh, yeah, it does. You can go too far and you can chip the paint. Uh, but you got a pretty good trunk compartment in here. I was surprised. It's all lined real nicely. as a gel cell battery with a billet custom hold down. There's a big battery disconnect switch right over here. Uh, so pretty nice looking uh, trunk compartment there. And this gray color is the color of the interior and that is the color of the chassis. If you peek in the back window, there's a model car uh, that comes with it. Uh, so again, this is not just a, a made up uh, car here. This the Grand Sport was a real, real thing. Uh, door jams are slick, uh, weather strips all replaced. And it's a minimal interior. Again, this is a copy of a race car. Um, so door panels are just, you know, the fiberglass got a little strap to close it. Uh, this is what the dash would have looked like. Uh, it is upgraded gauges. They're pro comp uh, gauges, 593 miles since it was built. And of course, you wouldn't have had air conditioning. I did just try it out and it was blowing cold air. Uh, there's sticky tape here. There must have been some sort of decoration that fell off there. you got power windows. Uh, they've even added a 12-volt receptacle here for plugging in your cell phone. A yeah, nice little storage tray. Um, it's all carpeted nicely, all cut with bound edges. you got the six-speed shifter. you got an e-brake. Uh, custom race seats. They do have some cushion. The buckles are actually very easy to use. Uh, nice leather wrapped Corvette wheel on a tilt column. The car is actually fairly roomy. I'm six foot tall. I, I think someone's six two could probably still fit in here. Um, we have a roll bar behind us. It's an exciting car. If you were to go to a car show or a cruise night, Anywhere you go, people are going to be looking. So this is an LT4 uh, Corvette motor, aluminum heads, uh, 330 horsepower, fuel injected, obviously. But look how tidy everything is. It's just really, really well done. Uh, you've got a set of headers, you've got stainless steel uh, steering linkage. And then this is all the Corvette, uh, you know, alternator, air conditioning, serpentine belt, power steering, uh, big aluminum radiator with an electric fan. So why don't you come around to this side too? A couple more things I want to point out. Look at the uh, power brake system over there. And that's what that little door on the fender is. That's how you get uh, to add fluid to the master cylinder. The other master cylinder is for a hydraulic clutch. And I believe these are the lines that run all the way to that cooler on the back. But I could just be mixing them up with the fuel lines that go to the tank. Um, 
But yeah, really well done. I'd call this detailed. Very, very well done. I'll be honest with you, I'm around these amazing cars all the time. I mean, 69 Camaros, I love them. This car really trips my trigger. This is exciting, it's unique, it's different. Just the color, uh, everything about it is just really exciting. If I bought this car, I don't know what I would want to do first. I would look forward to a Sunday morning, getting up early and going and hitting the winding roads and shifting the gears and hearing the pipes. Uh, I would want to go to a cruise night and be the center of the, of the tension. Um, I, I just think this car could bring someone a lot of pleasure. You can go to Corvette functions. Uh, you can take this car and have it judged at a show. It's so detailed and so nice. It's competitive as a show car. It's a, it's a driver. Uh, you got all sorts of uh, fun you can have with this car. This is an extra gasket for the vent window that was laying on the seat. Uh, so there you have it. Really cool piece. Got some neat history behind it. I just read a little bit online. I'm sure there's a lot more interesting facts. Uh, if you want to look up the uh, Corvette Grand Sport, uh, it's the first car that was ever called a Grand Sport. Uh, and you can also go to volocars.com to talk to the salesman. I just gave you my impression. They can help answer your questions. Uh, <clears throat> they can help get this delivered to your driveway. They can even help finance the car. Uh, for what it's worth, also, they used one of these with a convertible version in the Fast and Furious, one of the Fast and Furious movies. We have that on display. Uh, so there you have it. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon and uh, you'll be notified when the next great car rolls through here. Thanks.